start out with a visit to the Octave Chanute Aerospace Museum, well, what's left of it anyway, since it closed in 2015. On a whim, I stopped by the museum last weekend and caught worldwide aircraft recovery doing their work to assemble the aircraft to go to other places. The big ones still there are the C-133 Cargo Master, uh, the EC-121K Super Constellation, and a B-58 Hustler. From talking to Marty and Josh from Worldwide Aircraft Recovery, the Navy Connie, which is the EC-121 Warning Star, is heading to Yankee Air Museum in Ypsilanti, Michigan after being saved from the scrapyard. Inside the old Air Force hangar, though, the crew is preparing the B-58 Hustler for transport to Castle Air Museum in California. The B-58 was the first American bomber capable of supersonic flight, which is why you see the speed record information under the cockpit window. The Hustler was built with fuselage and wings in one piece, which means that the wings cannot be removed, but must be cut off for transport. That work will intensify at the end of next week, according to the guys. In its day, it held 19 altitude and speed records, including LA to New York in 4 hours and 41 minutes. there's actually a Minuteman missile silo in Rantoul, Illinois. There actually is, uh, but it's only for training facility for uh, maintenance crews, so it never actually held a nuclear warhead, at least as far as I know. Um, I'm not even sure it actually held a missile at all. to see all these old airplanes go it's good to know that at least most of them are going to get new homes and actually probably almost all of them will be indoors too which will be really good for them contact So after finishing up gathering video of the recovery and salvage work, it was time to head out. I managed to convince my dad to drive my car back to our home airport so I could fly the Cub back. So as I've taken passengers while flying the Cub and they've taken selfies, I've realized that I have what I call serious pilot face. When I'm flying, I'm almost always having a blast, but I always have this super intense look on my face. I'm actually trying to smile here. But you can see how little I'm actually moving the stick even with that face. Back at the house, my dad and I worked on prepping for Oshkosh. Uh, we have more years than I can remember that we've gone. Uh, we've only missed a few in the last 20 years. Every day of flying ends with filling out the logbook, though. 0.9 hours of solo cross country with three landings in total. Hey, I learn and work on my piloting skills every time I fly. So, until next time, may your air be smooth and your landings be greasers.